Alrighty then, uh, welcome to Wednesday, January 12th. A bit of a late schedule today because we were up very late last night. But that's fine. These tectites, I gotta sit, talk about these rocks for a second because I introduced them, I think, two videos ago, but um, allegedly, you know, incredibly useful for noticing synchronicities and things of that nature. And this trip has been nothing but um, synchronicities left and right, I think. I mean, I think I have something on my phone of like a small evidence of it. Let's see what I got. One day I woke up. The first two things I see on my phone, subscription to this lady's YouTube channel, opening up to abundance. Um, and literally the second thing I see on my phone is my homepage affirmation. I recognize how my grateful heart opens doors to abundance. It's a coincidence. Synchronicities are just coincidences. But I think, I just think that if you notice them, if you are noticing in, noticing things like that, or noticing repeated numbers, noticing anything that is personally meaningful. So yesterday's video, yesterday's video, the recommended listening on that song, on that video. Um, well, first of all, all the, vid all the songs, if I don't come up with a song in the while doing the reading, it's usually the next song that I listen to in the day. And somehow it just sort of works out that way. So yesterday's song really sort of just came up on a playlist I had been listening to all week, but it was like the perfect song for the video. And then I looked up the music video and the license plate on the car, if you go back and watch it, it says stay gold. Gold's sort of my thing, right? Gold, um, like my company Gold Point Studio. My filmmaking company. Whoop, filmmaking company. Um, we're also here on a retreat writing a TV show series about what we call the gold. Purely coincidence, I'm just saying. It's a coincidence, but also is it? <laughs> or are you know, are we expected to live within the I don't want to say boundaries, but within the um I don't want to say expected either. But there's something to the idea of synchronicities fulfilling some sort of, um, how do I say, fulfilling validating rather some sort of path, illuminating some sort of path. Because it does feel a little bit more um, I don't know, safe or guided when you are just noticing things that seem to make sense and they don't have to make sense to everybody, just to you really. Right? So, um, with that, these rocks are very special. I have two of them. So I keep one in each pocket and, um, I just pray that they don't fall out. Found an, another new favorite mug of mine from this Airbnb we're in. I love especially the money handle. And on it, it says, You're one in a million, Grandpa. Pretty nice cup. Very vintage. 1986. Yeah, you know, if I had an Airbnb, I don't know if I'd be leaving the sentimental shit around. But that's just me. They must have a lot of faith in the people who come through wherever we are. But okay. Time to get into the reading. Let's see what wants to come through here. Let's do the dream deck. I've been using the dream deck a lot lately. So let's do it. The gift is underneath. That's because it came out last night a lot. I was doing readings for my friends and and I think two of the three got out of one card pool the gift after shuffling and their own cuttings. So what does that mean? Uh, 
you know, if we take the message of the uh, doors to abundance from like my earlier example, I think all that really means is that there is opportunity um, in whatever energy is around us in the moment. So if you open yourself to the possibility of the present moment, I think therein lies potential for some kind of abundance or deeper knowing or just tapping into a, a, a much higher and more positive energy t so that you can uh, keep moving. Even when we feel like things are stagnating, um, you can be moving in some other direction. It's really just about getting getting some kind of confidence or getting quiet enough, like studying yourself enough to also improvise it, to wing it. And sometimes the universe just wants us to do nothing, right? And take care of ourselves. So let's see what the dream tarot has to say. Animal spirits. I love this card. Animal spirits, 45. Falling, trust fall, dwellings. Hmm. Yeah, falling is falling is a trust fall here. So someone is being asked to um, trust in the process, trust in um, yourself, really. What is the solid structure you've built up for yourself? Like, what are you made of? Trust in your own innate abilities. That's what this is. Trust in your own innate abilities. Um, animal spirits is a card that refers to, like, yeah, pay attention to any sort of animals that come across your path today. Um, you know, whenever I see animals I'm not expecting, I usually look up their meaning or something and, you know, usually have something to take away from it. It's almost like pulling a tarot card, but... Um, okay, well, sorry about that. I had to pause the recording because somebody was just opening my door. So I don't know where I left off, but the animal spirits, right. Animal spirits can ha can deal with any kind of other world spirits. So an ancestor or a loved one or a spirit, you know, a guide or anything like that. So if you are noticing anything, any synchronicities or signs, things that are possibly meaningful to you, animal or otherwise the message that is trying to come through is about trusting your own innate abilities your own solid structure um or something to that end okay let's see what the tarot has to say Can you guys hear the music outside? It's like pretty, really intense, classical. I don't know. There we go. Mm. Mm, the Two of Pentacles. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we have the High Priestess, the King of Cups in reverse, the Eight of Swords, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, King of Swords in reverse, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Cups in reverse, the Star, and the Eight of Pentacles. I mean, Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. Hmm... Well, the first thing I notice is that the King of Cups and the King of Swords are here, and they stick out to me because they have been coming out a lot lately, specifically in the reverse position. And, you know, 
this might be for someone who is you know carrying a lot of hope um, during a time when things seem really unbalanced or uncertain um, but has trouble trusting their feelings or the way that they're thinking about a situation or they might be um, struggling right now with their own mental health or their own emotions regarding a situation or something in their life. That's what I'm getting. And so uh, it's almost as if um, where you thought would be some kind of community um, like if what you're really wanting is is someone who to you know who understands you to celebrate with some someplace to this feeling of belonging if this is what you are seeking what you're really getting actually or what's available to you is your own if that isn't available to you if this is how you feel and that's what makes you feel unbalanced what's trying to come through is your own sort of wisdom, your own intuition wanting to speak. What was yesterday's reading? Yesterday, uh, in, the dis in the video description, it was something like, where have you built, Where have you built shackles to resemble your own st some some sort of stability? That's showing up here again. Uh, in the form of dwellings. Dwellings and this eight of swords. She's leaking her energy because she's keeping herself sort of comfortably stuck in this dwelling that has been built. I think this is about... This has to do with doing the consistent yet sometimes difficult work of leaving things that are no longer serving us. Obviously, this is like honestly one of the biggest and most cliche themes of the tarot in my opinion. It's just so true for the time that we're in. Um, and really the goal should be here instead of looking for other people or um, external situations to um, find some balance this this actually the lesson here is to provide your own solid structure in the form of either creating new daily routines um, the universe here is is testing you just a little bit in order to say what are the things you're willing to work hard for what are the things you're willing to work hard for where can you place your trust, if not in yourself? I see Aquarius here. Aquarius, is, as the star, is really the only um, zodiac sign that I see. And the way that I associate the star right now is... Or, or Aquarius is that Venus is stationed retrograde in Aquarius till the end of the month again so you could do research on what that lesson is for you or if you want you can hit me up and we'll talk about where your Venus is and what that means for you specifically um, Venus or sorry Aquarius is also where Mercury stations retrograde this week in a couple days. Um, and so when a planet retrogrades, it appears to move backwards, and it sometimes it does a little bit. So it starts in Aquarius, and then it moves back into Capricorn for a little bit before moving back forward. I think that's maybe the root of this um, trust fall here you the the energy is that of like sort of releasing yourself to the gravity so that you can 
see what needs to be done see what sort of practical things need to be done for the future but there's there's no point in resisting that which is happening let's see the star give me more stars Aquarius information here some advice It's the Six of Pentacles in reverse, the Page of Wands, Temperance, and the Sun. Yeah. So part of, part of this trust, this trusting, right? This, this, the falling that's showing up here this is showing up with temperance, this sort of like alchemical card. This is Sagittarius. This is about staying open to possibility. We also have Sun, Leo. So I think this is about sort of getting into the right, getting into the right mind state of the possibility of this waiting period. Trusting that this is for a purpose. And this, I, I feel like this is the energy of just like what you want to, what you want to try and body. This uh, patience and positivity. Page of Wands is here, so it's almost like you see the seeing the potential of the situation and not, not not so much wanting to perceive this as um, something that's being taken away. The Six of Pentacles in reverse is again sort of this something is out of balance. So um, there is something <laughs> perceive. Per, there is there are things happening that can be perceived as unbalanced and i think it's it's throwing our emotions out of whack it's throwing our thoughts out of whack sort of the stars here this is a hopeful situation i think that this is just sort of like a sit tight and really just look after yourself here i see two eights in the future position um, so things are going to move pretty quickly and this is about sort of transforming something. This is about transforming your day-to-day -day, maybe in a way that is more reliant on yourself. And so now we return full circle to this trust in your own innate abilities. What are those? Let's see. Show me some advice for the Knight of Pentacles, please. Four of Swords in reverse, the Tower in reverse, Two of Cups, Justice. Libra. Yeah, so it's like you want to be fair. Um, yeah. So really what's happening here is <laughs> in order to avoid disaster, um, you need to take rest and avoid burnout in, 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 in regards to something that you're pursuing or balancing or trying to keep balanced. If you're trying to juggle so many things. Okay, so there's a message there. That's why the waiting, that's why the, the trust fall. Because really what, what wants to come through is sort of this very balanced, look at this justice, something, some kind of connection here or partnership is coming into balance with truth. It's taking time to unearth. Also, the, the two of cups here, this card is the truth of the soul's exchange. So this does speak to me a lot of um, sort of like, what are you bringing to the table? What, what, what are your innate, consistent qualities um, that really make you unique? What make you special? What, what, what are the things then that you have to offer? Your own solid structure. Another message in here might be, you know, the 
those things that you bring to the context of your relationships, the things that are sort of things that are yours, innately yours, qualities that you can own, they those things don't come from how others think about you. Anyway, what other people think about you doesn't really matter. Um, people rarely treat you the way that you are perceived. Um, so really all that really matters is what you think of yourself. What are those innate qualities that you are bringing, that you are nurturing? Okay, that's why Three of Cups is here in the reverse and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Spirit, the un spirit and the universe, these spirit animals are really just trying to tell you to trust in yourself. And don't look for opportunities with other with with within your community to show you or to tell you who it is that you are. You create your own solid structure. It's time to trust that. Wow, wow, wow. That's what I got, y'all. So um, apologize for that distraction in the center. It did sort of um, alter my mood just a little bit because I realize it is such a privilege to get to do these readings without interruption when I do them at home. Um, but yeah, I hope you like it. I wonder what song we'll choose. I hope it's a good one. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.